at CFRU 93.3 FM in Guelph, Ontario, and through the web on CFRU.ca, and currently live streaming on CFRU's YouTube channel. Uh, I am your Master Overseer, Nicholas Cooper. We will be looking inward and beyond a progressive rock, the branches of progressive fusion and alternative genres, a radical anomaly, and other unique discoveries near and far. Join us as we gaze into the audible lens out of the diverse musical landscape on the ever-changing horizon. Let's do this. This is when we do it. We got thumbs up. We got thumbs up from Nick.
Oh man. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm good. Hey, uh, welcome, Good Centuries, to an audience in the Observational Tower, the music interview series we have here through the Sentinel's Marvelous Kaleidoscope at CFRU 93.3 FM and on CFRU.ca, and also live streaming on YouTube. Wow. In our last audience, we had the Toronto Guelph Black Progressive Magic solo artist, Subterranea also known, or the solo project for Alia Synesthesia, quite a dark uh, uh, place that was when we had them on last week. Today, we are skewed to focus our gaze upon uh, these three lovely guys uh, of progressive <laughs> punk um, of music from all across Southern Ontario. Um, yeah, we spread. That's how we do. We're all across. We're all over the place. We're all over the place. That's how we do everywhere yes welcome ned flangers how are you guys doing uh i'm pretty good i'm like one of those uh peaches that came down from the tree nice and ripe someone's gonna grab it eventually down the road it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a great time oh good great guys uh why don't we go around and introduce yourselves to our good sentries and listeners okay how's everybody doing today my name is dylan francis claire um, I play bass in Ned Flangers. I also run a record label called Three Nines Compact Cassettes. Um, I'm also a fellow radio host at uh, CKMS Radio Waterloo 102.7. Um, yeah, that's that's my business. I'm Jesse Alarcon. I'm playing guitar and singing. Run Glue Gun with Brent O'Toole. Glue Gun Records. Glue Gun. Get glue. Get some glue. Glue Gun Records. My name is Bren O'Toole. I play in a band called Animatus, also Ned Flangers. I shouldn't put this voice on on the radio, but that's okay. Thanks for having us, man. Oh. Yeah, no problem. It's very nice to have you all here. <laughs> nice. Uh, how are y'all fe feeling today? Uh, I'm feeling warm. We're we're retired. Uh, we did. All of us didn't sleep, or we slept very few hours. Two hours. I, I slept like three or four. But uh, Jesse's getting sick. Um, we haven't jammed in weeks. We played a show last Thursday. <laughs> we haven't jammed in weeks. So, uh, <laughs> but it, it doesn't matter, apparently. Uh, apparently, from last Thursday's show, it doesn't matter. We don't need to jam anymore. Let's just write new songs. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm, I was actually thinking, let's just jam and write a new song live on the air. Right here? <laughs> but also, I did suggest just break up on the air, too. Okay. So uh, any, no. of my, any, any of the ideas that are coming out of my, my little mouth, my little jaw flapping here, it's just a bad thing. <laughs> Anywho, moving on to the show. Um, yeah, well, it's, I've just known you guys, uh, or met you guys most recently. Actually, I've known Brent online for a few years now Hello. through Animatis. Being, having played them, played all the new albums so long and multiple times actually it's a good online friendship i like it yeah we actually just met uh yesterday no <laughs> a, few, a few weeks ago at, at a district con or it was the district concert with uh the ned flangers uh sages ned, ned flangers yum dumpster uh, yeah okay that was the beginning of the month eh beginning of uh, yeah, october i was gonna say october <laughs> beginning of uh, uh so i don't even know where i am right now march yeah 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 that was when i first met you uh good sir nick I was the first met you. Yeah. And uh, it's been a great relationship ever since. I yes. can tell you that, my friend. Yeah, definitely. We we should really plan on that radio collaborative. Oh, dude, it's going to be like this. <laughs> it's going to be like that, but uh, radio collab. Yeah. Yeah. Less bass slappy. Well, maybe, because I'm a bass clarinetist. Oh, so yeah. I slap you. When you're on the bass clarinet, <laughs> and then we're kind of almost there. <laughs> Thank you. I was waiting for that. I appreciate that. All right, here we go. Right. Sound effects are you guys the foley in the studio here. I got or, you backed up. Don't worry. <laughs> or you slap and I blow. Ayo. No. Yeah, I'm no. down for whatever, man. As long as we're still friends. <laughs> um, yeah, or now, okay, let's actually get into the actual interview part yeah sure thing my <laughs> friend uh get us on track um <laughs> why don't we start with how you three met each other um you guys can talk about well, yeah 
Brent and Jesse met on a nice Sunday afternoon. Not Sunday. Saturday. Like Saturday. Saturday. Like yeah, it was at it, busking time. It was definitely a Saturday. It was busking time. I was not there to busk. Neither was Jesse. And <laughs> that's what was weird about it. No, beforehand, uh, I booked you guys. He booked my uh, other band, Animatus, on a show. I forgot. Jesse just reminded me he's doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, and I gave you a hug. He gave me a, It was the best hug I've ever had. And then friendship. Ooh, it bloomed. <laughs> and it bloomed. And is that how, is that how things happen, usually happen? Uh, and then I met Dylan prior to that, um, like, like f- four or five years ago. We played a show in Mississauga at Streetsville yeah. at the Masonic Lodge. Yeah, yeah. So like, I uh, first identified this man as a dreadhead man, and, oh, this guy's Jesse, four or five years ago. But I became his friend maybe a uh, year and a half now. No, a year and a bit. Almost two, actually, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We kind of yeah, going to shows and such, and uh, oh, you know, we uh, nice. kind of like have like-minded individuals. You know what I mean? I just started uh, doing the three nines thing, making cassettes for bands, and I probably had like a few releases when I was just starting to talk to him. And he invited me to one of his house shows he puts on. Called uh, he likes to call his house show called Mount. Um, he calls it Mountain Doom. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I went to one of his shows and we fell in love with each other, and I pretty much jammed like the following week. Um, yeah just pitching ideas to each other and what we wanted to do with his scene and my scene and just what we want to do in general about our musical lives. It's pretty, pretty, pretty wicked uh, relationship ever since. Huh? Their, their backstory is much better than Jesse and mine's. It's really good. Uh, <laughs> that hug was great though, yeah. right? <laughs> Those are top quality yeah. hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and so like I I, I met I met Jesse uh, Brent and knew uh, knew Jesse and it's just one of those things that like Jesse really want to start a band and then boom, you found a bass player. I'm from Kitchener. These guys both from Brampton at the time, and then I was like going up there every week, every Monday, uh, taking the train. Um, other than that, yeah, the rest is history. We've been playing 22 shows. We played 22 shows together. We've been jamming for about a year and a bit now. It's been good. 22. This is 23. This is our 23rd show, actually. This is the 23rd show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been, it's been a good experience. I've been liking these guys. Um, we all have different lives, different routes. Uh, kind of get the same uh, same horizon, you know, end game, but we have different routes, and uh, it's glad that we can intersect and play music together and actually jam and play shows. It's been quite the riot. I don't even know who these guys are. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I can already hear and see that there's already a good trio dynamic between you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Has there been ev- ever any uh, tension between you guys? I think I may have gotten a little too drunk. Oh, our first show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, our first attempt at our first show was at his birthday party. And uh, it was a year ago. For lack of a better phrase, he was he was very mangled. Yeah, he was mangled, Woo! and uh, he was playing guitar Breaking differently guitar. differently <laughs> that night. And we got through two and a half songs or something. It was like three. Yeah, it was like a two and a half and a half of nonsense. But hey, breaking strings. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Anyways, it was it was his birthday. That should be enough to film the <laughs> the rest of the <laughs> evening. What happened with Ned Flanders? And it was our first show, and a lot of friends were pumped and ready for us. Yeah, yeah. And we played, and that was it. <laughs> That's the only tension we've ever had. Um, other than that, um, I don't know. I don't really. Want we'll to talk about it now? I don't know. I like to drink. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> Not <on air>. <laughs> <laughs> no, we like each other. Like you know. Uh, you know, there are times that uh, we're all having fun and all buzzed up and, you know, can punch each other in the face. But there's times that we're like, are you OK? And we're always there for each other and we always make sure that uh, that we're there for each other. And just, you know, we, you know, we won't see each other. So when we come t- together, we're like, hey, are you doing good? You're OK? Um, it just seems like we care. We usually ask if the other person's OK right after we punch them in the face. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Then we realize what the heck happened. <laughs> um, nice. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, um, how, where did Ned Flanders the name come from? <laughs> uh, it was a, a softcore obsession with The Simpsons, and um, uh, I happened to lo- work for Long and McQuaid in Brampton at the time, and we didn't sell any flanger pedals, 
but they kept shipping us flanger pedals. So I constantly oh. had the word flanger on my mind. Um, so one time we were jamming, and it, it you know, the Ned Flangers just came out, and we've dealt with it for ever since. Song title. Yeah, yeah it's right? for a song it, title. It, it was a song and we title. We will play originally. that in a couple in a couple moments. But uh, yeah, it was a song title, and uh, I, me and Brandon were like pro. Like, yes, we're keeping it. And then the like, first two shows, it's like, yeah, we're keeping it. And Jesse was always like, we're changing it. Yeah, it's just a temporary name. Like, we're keeping it. And then all our friends were just like, Ned, Ned Flan- when's Flanger doing? When's Ned doing this stuff? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and it just kept snowballing. And now we have a Facebook with 500 likes, so you can't change it now. Now there's a lot we of tension in the it. band over just this it. name. <laughs> now, now there's tension. <laughs> Oh, I'm but, sorry that I brought that up. Then. Oh, no, don't you worry, man. The name's the last thing. Uh, we have to worry about getting together to practice. I think that's the first thing we should. <laughs> you can call us, uh, you know, uh, Campbell Soup if you really. I don't know. Don't call us Campbell Soup, please. Don't, don't. Um, yes. Yeah. So I've like I've like the call. I've been describing you guys as progressive punk. Yes. But how would you guys describe yourselves and what kind of style you bring? As a trio together. Oh. Progressive punk is pretty good. <laughs> prog punk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you want to make it a little shorter? <laughs> yeah, yeah, prog. Prog, prog, prog punk. punk. Um, we're punks, and uh, some of us like prog. I think we uh, all like prog. Uh-oh, who doesn't like prog? I don't know. <laughs> That's where we start fighting, right? <laughs> like prog. I was the one that liked prog. Man. Hey, man, my very first CD I ever bought was a door CD, so... Ain't no prog CD. And then again, actually... For probably Sean Paul. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Murphy! <laughs> hey, I don't... I don't it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that answers what was talking, but... <laughs> We're moving on. Now. We're moving on. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, so, because you guys are in multiple bands, what musical influences uh, do you bring together in this formation? Like from different artists or different styles of music? Artists is, I don't think we can talk about artists, but it's more like styles and more like lifestyle and like experiences from our past bands. That's what we all bring into the table. And that's what Nefenge is because all three of us have different backgrounds, completely different backgrounds. Entirely. If there's one artist I can mention, it's unfortunate because I don't even know their name, but the original drummer from Jane's Addiction <laughs> is, is where I steal all of my drum patterns from. So thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You just blew my mind in like three. Two, one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, you know, like, uh, I grew up on the doors and all the he- uh, the classic rock kind of stuff. And, you know, eventually in high school, I got into the heavier punk kind of stuff. And then, uh, I don't know, now I play in four or five different bands and different kind of genres all across the board. i um, been doing it for like 12 years now. Just, you know, everybody has their own uh, background and experience. And it's hard just to uh, pinpoint. Rush. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse says rush, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I can see that, yeah. Uh, it's just hard to say. Like, we, like we, all three of us can talk about different bands, and none of us can be t- know what we're talking about these different bands. We're from different scenes. We, mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a cluster. Yeah. Um, the SMK being a progressive show, I usually uh, bring up the question of what your thoughts uh, are on, like, progressive music and how we do you define progressive music outside the box yeah pushing boundaries pushing boundaries yeah it could be like ambient progressive it could be uh like technical progressive uh you know crazy guitar work and whatnot um we are time signatures yeah it, it's just anything that's outside the box is going to be progressive in my mind and uh, you know you hear the basic radio not the community radio the basic radio stations those popular radio stations that's <laughs> one genre of music then there's the progressive side of music. <laughs> so, like, anything that just pushes the mind, anything that's just avant-garde, real. Mm. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't say real, but yes. Um, anything else to add for that, boyos? No. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, so far, um, you guys have a few recorded material out. Um, uh, thanks, I guess, thanks to each other's, uh, like... Um, recording and label um creations of your own uh diy till you die yeah so you guys have your a demo ep 
uh, release in 2017. Mm-hmm. Um, that was like two two months before uh, after we were formed. We were like, okay, we have four songs. Let's do them. Let's, let's cut them. Let's do it. And uh, was that the first project you guys worked on as like a recording project? Together. Bro. Yeah, yeah, t- yeah, yeah. Together. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that that turned out pretty good as like a good demo. And then. Uh, Later on, we released a, 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 a kind of a split tape with a band called Father Bodies um, from Kitchen Waterloo as well. Um, that, yeah, strictly on tape. That's what we do. We only have six songs actually recorded. Actually, that's a lie. That is a lie. We have compilations like and stuff like that. Oh, no, we lied. Oh. oh liars. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's the new band name. We'll call it. Oh, wait, that's a band name. Oh, shoot. Uh. We're now called Liars, Liars, Pants on Fire. <laughs> Alexis on Liar. Alexis on Liar? No. <laughs> okay, fine. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the demo that got released in seven t- uh, 2017. It was like well, two months into the band. We were just like, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. We're all psych- psyched for it, stoked for it. Um, and then we had that little split tape and a couple of compilations. Nice. Has the overall um, um, feed, have you gotten like positive feedback from these releases? Yeah, actually, the the first demo we did a re-release, so we had the, the it actually came out in red, red cover, red tape, and then it was sold out pretty much right away because we only did twenty four uh-huh. copies on his birthday. It was pretty much like we had like three copies left that day, and then I did a blue uh, rendition, same songs. Um, mm-hmm. I did fifty of them, and uh, I'm sold out. Actually, sold out uh, yesterday. I sold out my copies. I got a couple. Yeah, got a couple. So we're probably gonna do like a purple or like, I don't know, a teal version. Out, not teal. <laughs> uh, Ooh, yeah. So like, we're gonna release that because it's our first thing, and it's been selling pretty good for us when we're doing our gigs. So yeah, I I have the blue copy actually. Yeah, yeah, the red one. Like, uh, yeah, it, it like sold oh, the first day that it was released. Would have loved to have a red one. <laughs> I don't even have the red. One. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I do either. <laughs> and I made the tapes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. But yeah, like uh, I mean, what we and Jesse and Brent have, like with our, our, between the two rec labels, like Three Nines, the Compact Cassettes, and uh, Google and Records, we try to help each other out, uh, make like uh, I don't want to say cheap but affordable merchandise for uh, musicians and for bands and for artists. Um, this is what we do, and uh, make the showcases with our work. Yeah, excellent. Uh, why don't we now get into another uh, music segment? Yeah. Oh, actually, what were the songs we started off the interview with? So we had a little, okay, we're working on, or we have the song called Intro, actually, it's actually called uh, Garden Variety Panic Attack. Garden Variety Pan- Panic Attack, but we take the first couple seconds of it and call it the intro. And we, so we have the intro song, and then we have Little Hands, and then we had a song called Tracy Chapman. Tracy Chapman. That's new to me. So, yeah. Do you want to say what the next songs are? What do you got? We got Eel and then Ned Flanders. Yeah, both oh, off the the demo. Self-titled. The red and the blue demo. Hey, nice, guys. So here's Ned Flanders uh, performing live here in the studio at CFRU 93.3 FM, CFRU.ca, and live streaming on CFRU's uh, YouTube channel. <laughs>
That was Ned Flangers with L and Ned Flangers, the song, here on CFRU 93.3 FM, CFRU.ca, and CFRU's YouTube channel on the Sentinel's Marvelous Kaleidoscope. Intense, guys. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for enjoying, everybody. And it'll look simply amazing on the live stream. What was that? It sounds good. You do have a good time. Everybody having a having a, a fun time in the radio land, Pretty sitting time. back. Hopefully, listen to uh, in headphones like I am. <laughs> and nobody, nobody, nobody sits back on their on their hacky sack chair with headphones and throws on throws on the old record player anymore. I know this is not the record, but yes, nobody does that anymore. God dang. Or not a whole lot of people. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I hope. I hope for a different world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, why don't we look into the creative side of Ned Flangers? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's all look into that right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been analyzed it a ha- lot. It hasn't. Uh, well, what is the usual creative process for your, well, for the Ned Flangers songs? What happens at a jam, guys? Record it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Jesse, you have a riff? And then... He like, freaks out and then he like, whips out a riff, <laughs> and then we record it. R- Brent's like, "That's cool," and he writes you know, a beat. And then I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm like, "Oh, then something like this, right?" And like, <laughs> so let's try it. Let's, let's try do it. So. <laughs> Um, that's what we kind of do, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was so amazing to do that in the moment. Yeah, there. that's pretty much what Maybe that can be the SMK theme song. <laughs> okay. If you, if save you, it, save it. If you captured it, then we'll just redo that. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, essentially that's what's up. Like, uh, Jesse would have a riff. This is what's, what the dynamic in the relationship right now. We got a riff. We get a drum beat. I'm in there. I throw uh, my barbaric bass lines. What do you want to say about it? And then like, sometimes it was like, do we like it? Do we like it? We uh, kind of like have like a scratch uh, recording going on with an iPhone and we just process it and cut it up and play it live a couple times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See if it fails and mess it up live. A couple <laughs> times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, this band, it's like trial and er- error jam and just like it's it, it, say we say we're progressive punk rock or whatever but it's it's rock and roll like it's just like it's cuff sort of like cuff like uh, yeah i don't know at least that my feelings is just like i love being in this kind of band i'm just like just 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 all out Can you hear that vince <laughs> we're rock and roll <laughs> <laughs> i'm just all out me not trying to swear on the radio we're just all out <laughs> <laughs> we're having a good time yeah exactly having right like all three of us were gonna get together uh, if you didn't like having a good time we didn't like each other and uh, it's a blessing that like i said i probably said this already before that we're together doing this right now yes <laughs> excellent uh so actually it seems like it's a split between instrumental tracks and thing uh songs that you put vocals to for now for now oh is there a prefer preferable um well it's just like i said we don't jam and we yeah we like to have more lyrics and vocals and stuff like that but um yeah it's one of those things that me and jesse just gotta capitalize on but what the big problem is is that we don't have enough problems to write lyrics about we're all pretty okay right now so when we go through another phase of us having a lot of problems then a bunch of lyrics will come out and suddenly we're not an instrumental band anymore <laughs> oh my god. We're yeah. not prog anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all punk, all vocals. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, like you know, I'm working I'm brewing on some 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 stuff and Jesse's uh, always working on some lyrics just like for the intensity of our band, I think like we can we can do the whole instrumental thing. Like we don't have to be that like vocal melody vocal he- a vocal vocal heavy band that only you know, the audience listens to the vocals like we're pretty pretty wild on the instrument side of things. Nice, I like, but I do like the ambiguity of being that. I, is it instrumental band or is yeah. it a yeah, yeah, and I hear vocal? You. If we got together more often, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then we'll, we'll, nudge, we'll, uh, nudge, wink, wink. Yeah, kick yeah, yourselves yeah. in the butt, you know, to get get <laughs> things going again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey guys, should we hang out tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> I can't. I'm busy, boys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, um, so yeah. 
Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I guess um, now we can kind of talk about each of you guys individually in like groups now, like because all of not just Ned Flanders you um, work on, but like a whole bunch of uh, like um, local um, organizations to say that or the just project yeah projects in general so why don't we i don't know who wants to talk first Brent? Oh. No, <laughs> why i don't like you. talking okay, jesse first all right what you got for me <laughs> so i was first actually the first time we uh communicated with each other was when i played what did i played something on the radio yeah <laughs> play some basement Oh yeah, the oh yeah, the Ned, yeah Ned Flanders basement uh, uh, state of mind. And then I asked you out for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be doing that? <laughs> Asking people for lunch like that? Oh, is, that how, is that how we do it? <laughs> Play me on the air enough times yeah. to get some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then um, I guess I was, I, you I guess okay, start over. Uh, so you're a DIY concert booker, I believe. Yeah, I book shows from scratch. I call up bars. See what's happening, if they're able to accommodate. If not, I go somewhere else. I'll drive to Hamilton, Kitchener. Like, where we play a couple weeks ago, out of town? Uh, Windsor. Uh, win Windsor. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. the Fog? Windsor did. Yeah, we got Windsor did at the Fog. Shout out to Charles. Yeah. Yeah, Charles Boyer. Yeah, Love yeah. you, bud. Let us sl sleep on his floor. Slept? Slept. No, you, you slept it. Slept it was a good floor. Good, nice guy. Ten out of ten. Yeah, yeah booking nice shows, booking shows from scratch, and and you've been doing this for like a few years now. Yeah, since high school, so like 2011, started taking it on a little bit more seriously. In the past two years, been gun ho, just straight booking shows. Like I'm booking shows today, tomorrow. This email. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Ooh. I wake up and take a pee at 4:30 in the morning, and I'm like looking on my phone. This guy's up. And yeah, I'm like messaging, yeah. hey, brother, what are you doing at 4.30 in the morning? Booking shows. And the first <laughs> thing he tells shows. me, the first thing he tells me is like, I'm going to go to bed. So then he tells me what he's doing. Because <laughs> I know, because he knows. I'll be like, dude, 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 you got to get your sleep because we're going to see each other in like four hours. <laughs> but yeah. This morning? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, brother. Aren't we having a band practice in four hours? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> this is our band practice, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> Yeah, but you must be really into it and really you're really dedicated um to like uh art when we've talked to each other you um it's really like supporting local acts and local um the music community, local music community. Yeah, I just want to be a part of the community and so the best way to be a part of it is by supporting it, right? You attend the show, even attend bigger shows. Me and Brent saw Daughters last night at Great Lee's show. Palace. Great show. Crazy. Met so many people from the Peel Crew, Peel Region, some people from the KW, C, DIY, mm -hmm. right? To spread mm -hmm. the love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now going, adding Brent to the conversation, you guys r have started, I guess, recently, Glue Gun Records. Uh, yeah, it, I, I'm going to say it was mainly Jesse's idea, and he's really taken the forefront with it, but it's certainly something that him and I collaborate on. It's Glue Gun Records, stick it to him. And it's just a little small distribution label that that Jesse really started up. And, um, yeah, we're just looking for local acts. We're doing anything from recording bands, mixing, mastering bands, booking shows, mostly on the Jesse side, uh, it, promoting bands online, making sure the releases get out there and connecting the right people to whoever we can connect them to. Getting the likes up. Getting as many likes on Facebook, which is probably in the two-digit realm. Is it three digits now? We're pushing for four digits, so maybe 2025, four digits likes on, on Facebook. E K I L E K I L like. <laughs> That's not a, anyways. <laughs> oh. So how how um has it kicked up uh, steam so far? Have you guys um, or what bands do you have on the label so far? So we have Witch Hat of recently. Yes, a great, great group out of Mississauga. They might have played their one and only show, but their their album or their EP is available to listen whenever you want to, one time, a hundred times. Tapes are going to come out through three nines. Yes. Woo. We got Sages, right? We got just, Yum. We just got, just oh. heard a little Sages earlier, if you guys are listening in. A little Sages happened. 
The other band, Yum Dumpsters, on that label. Uh, the band I wish I was in. Uh, as long <laughs> as you everybody know? knows that. Are you in Yum? Yeah, don't ask me that. The amount of times I get asked at shows whether or not I'm in Yum Dumpster, it makes me upset every and time. I just <laughs> laugh my head off. <laughs> oh, ah! We can do uh, the next song we play. I know we're not, we can do oh. a Yum Dumpster cover in the next song. <laughs> okay. Anyways, can uh, we? Karloff? Uh, yeah. Uh, keep going, keep going. Oh, Karloff's part of the yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then we're gonna segue this really easily. Mm-hmm. My own band, Animatist, is uh, on Glue Gun Records. That's a project I have with Danielle yeah. Fernandez, who's from Guelph. We've played a lot of great shows in Guelph. Recently, played a show opening up for one of my favorite bands, Fet Not. Uh, now, if you can see me on the live stream, I have my phone out, which seems rude, <laughs> but I was pulling up the bands that we're playing with so that I can mention their names. March 22nd, Animatus is going to be uh, at the Common Cafe. That's a show booked by Will Wellington. That's a great guy in town. Everybody Bobby knows Will. him, I'm sure. Drunk at the Library, one yeah, of the best his, bands his, from this his town. Mm-hmm. His band, Drunk at the Library, great group. Oh, my um, gosh. So Animatus is playing. We're playing with Fourth Way, which is out of St. Catharines. Catharines. And then we also have Teddy's Atlas, another great group of, of Guelph locals. So that's going to be on March 22nd. If you want to check it out, you can see... Uh, what glue guns got going on and you'll probably see well you'll certainly see myself but you'll probably see jesse there as well rocking the glue gun merch table yeah, i'll be there too why not <laughs> yeah, d- you, yeah there you go i'll why be there not? i'm can, gonna be can there. We rehearse want, before <laughs> yeah, i was gonna say do you want to do a ned flanders rehearsal <laughs> i booked the day off now it's two weeks advance okay guys no not even yeah i was gonna say I, i'm gonna be there <laughs> oh good good at least we have some fans <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not even there for us i know <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, like, I've played Animatist on the show since almost the beginning of the SMK, I believe. Um, it was actually, I, um, Danielle, I've, I've know, knew her before, uh, the band, um, came together because we were in a few music classes here at the University of Guelph, Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think it might have been the year after... Uh, she graduated. She came back for one of the Thursday at noon concerts and she handed me an Annie Mattis business card, info card. And then it's kind of snowballed from there and I've been playing them, playing the, um, oh, I forget the, what's the, um, the album name? Face Club. It's called Face Club, yeah. Seven. We, we very, yeah, we wanted to call it Face Club 7, but we're not S Club. If, if there's one thing I can clarify very quickly, it's something I forgot, that the show that we have coming up on March 22nd is not only booked by Will, but also uh, by Caitlin, who is in Drunk at the Library, um, with their booking group, Wow Great Wow. I really forgot that, sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so then I was, um, I got planned the... CD copy of the band of Face Club uh, to play on the show, and I've at least played it through once throughout the life of the show. At least once, thank Sweet. you. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you guys are amazing. Not to say that Ned Flanders isn't equally as amazing as well. It's different. Yeah, a little different. Same but different. Thank you very much for your kind words. And also, uh, for you, Brent, I think I saw is if it's true or not, you are also now part of Versa. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm Say helping out. Say a about this. Okay. No, please no. I, I'm, I'm helping out in the group Versa, also a great multimedia project out of Guelph. Um, Alex and Monika welcomed me into the group. So I play drums alongside Will. Uh, current incarnation of the band also includes... Um, funny enough, bass clarinet player Andrew Liordi and Danielle yes, Fernandez clarinet. is also in that group as well. So clarinet. I've just played uh, the second show I have with them uh, at the Game Music Festival. It's been a great run. They're such a great group. Uh, so I'm I'm proud to be a member of it. All great bands. Uh, okay, now D- Dylan. Yes. <laughs> uh, Dylan. Dylan. What would you like, Nicholas? Uh, so you have your own little label we've been mentioning a lot three <coughs> nines compact uh cassettes yes sir three nines compact cassettes 999 tapes out of kitchener waterloo ontario so how did that start out how how did you start that oh boy um you know what just uh, i've been collecting tapes i've been in touring bands for a while now for like you know 10 years or so you know doing that been collecting for a while been having t- i had tapes since i was a kid 
And just one of those things, I just like uh, one of my bands, uh, Death Parade Playground, we, needed a, we need something physical for our upcoming show. So I made a tape. Turns out I made a, a, a darn good tape. Mm. And it looked great. It sounded great. And I was like, you know what? I can do this. I wanted to do this. I wanted to be something like I always, uh, uh, it's a label I looked up, uh, looked up to or looked, uh, is called um, Skeletal Lightning. I was like, man, my buddy from Sean from Skeletal Lightning does this really cool label. I want to start doing that and be a part of the community, make a community, be involved. And then it's just from the first tape, you know, the Death Party Bright uh, bright New Tape. Um, it just snowballed from there. That was my first release. And then um, I'm 45 releases and four or five comps later in two years, almost in July. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been it's been quite the, the run. Um, I'm poor. Um, <laughs> but it's been quite the run. I like music. Mm-hmm. All the dedication there. Is it? Well, is it dedication? Yeah, some it's craziness involved. I, it's something to be like. It's just you know, you, once you're in the scene, you're there. You're there, and uh, it's just my, my way to just just uh, try to shine a light on what I'm doing in Kitchen Waterloo and uh, just shine a light on all this awesome talent. Um, also Guelph too. I got a lot of Guelph projects too. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And now specifically for radio because we are pretty much radio brothers. Uh, yeah, you have yeah. your own radio show out of Waterloo. <laughs> yes, uh, Three Nines Radio. Um, my handle, my handle is called, or I call him Francis Clare. I'm named after my grandfather's Francis Clare on the air at Three Nines Radio. It's CKMS Radio Waterloo 102.7 FM. Um, I have a radio show Tuesdays at 9 p.m. till 10:30. Tapes only, all hour and a half. I talk about events and. Other fun stuff, tape culture, yada yada. Um, yeah, I do that. I have a live show, and I, then I have like a repeat kind of show on Thursdays, and I kind of like promote whatever's happening in the community, you know, through that. Um, but yeah, man, um, been doing the radio for uh, for a while for since May, and then I met you. And I'm like, oh, somebody, somebody, somebody that I, re- I enjoy because I, I was listening to your program before I actually started talking. I'm like, oh, cool. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this guy's like, listen, uh, listen to Ned Flanders. I want to check his program out. And oh, this is sweet. And then I started talking to you, meeting you. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, I can actually converse with another radio brother. And yeah, actually, yeah. you know, and I'm actually in your studio again. And it feels, it feels nice. It feels cool. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, thank you for tuning into my show. And I've <laughs> tuned into yours a couple times. Yeah, when you can. You have, you have uh, band practice, though. Don't you on Tuesdays or no? Is that just a sp- sporadic thing? Oh, I'm part of, right now in this semester, I joined the uh, Contemporary Music Ensemble here at the yeah. university. Or ensemble, the CME. band, same thing. <laughs> who, who is that run by right now? Uh, ben Grossman. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and, and you are saying the other night, or a couple weeks ago, you are like, yeah, you know, I usually have a uh, band practice, but I got canceled and you're tuning in. I was like, oh, thanks, brother. But yeah, so I do radio, I do record label, I do promotions. Um, I run a jam hall in Kitchen Waterloo, playing like five or six different bands. You know what I mean? Music's my life. Life is music. What can I do? You can't do anything. Just keep it going until you're dead. Mm. You true that. <laughs> I don't uh, know what else to do with my life, so. So we are kind of ending um, the hour now. Uh, quick uh, asking this question is what, is there anything kind of planned for Ned Flanders coming up? Any new shows or recordings? We might play a house show in Toronto on April 13th. Yeah. As well, what, what other dates? we got well, the 19th, the pre-420 in Simcoe. Okay. Uh, we also have May something at Luana's place. Yeah, in Saga, house show, but most of all... Okay, so CKMS Fundraiser 2019. I'm throwing a little fundraiser for my little radio station. Um, our main event is on, is on March 30th at Boathouse, KW Boathouse. We have Dead Flanger, Adam Mattis. We have Cape Isan. We have Sundiver. Yeah, we have a lot of great acts. We have a contemporary piano player opening. Uh, it, it's a wild night. 7 mm-hmm. o'clock to about 1 a.m. Um, all donations go to CQMS for uh, upgrades because it ain't nothing like this studio here. We got a lot of things to fix up. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, it's how it is being a community, uh, sorry, volunteer-based radio station. We have nothing, no ties to our university anymore. Mm-hmm. It's been about... Uh, I don't know, I guess 15 years for us. Um, yeah, yeah, a little fundraiser happening. That's our next event, next big big event for us. Um, yeah. And uh, create your own. Oh, yes. And on 420, another event that I'm uh, fundra- or, or, or I'm, I'm promoting, um, it's a f- it's a 
It's a one-day festival, 40 different bands. Uh, it's at four different venues, all in Uptown Waterloo. It's $15 for a whole day pass. You can go up and down, around the corner, any way you like. Um, Single Mothers, Grebert, um, John Creed and the Flying ha- uh, Hellfish. Um, those are just the, the headliners. Many other were playing that event. Um, yeah. If if any of these go over your head, or if there's any shows we mentioned where the venue wasn't mentioned or anything, it's a DIY house show, feel free to contact either ourselves, you can find Ned Flanders on Instagram or yes. on Facebook, and you can just ask us what's going on, or you can go be, directly be through uh, SMK and Nick Cooper. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be be of course, I'll Friendly. always help you guys yeah. out. Yeah, out of the three of us, there's a, a, a tornado of events just flying at us all the time, yeah. Um, but yeah, contact uh, Three Nines uh, Compact Cassettes at uh, gmail.com or gluegunrecords at gmail.com for any more information. Excellent, guys. So it looks like we are ending our time here for Sweet. this edition of the. Uh, we have like event. exactly one, t- like one more. We have enough time for one more song. So yeah. So for this, um, an audience in the observational tower. Um, this is the last track they'll be playing. Basement state of mind. Uh, thanks for coming on, guys. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate this.
Rangers. It's Dev. I'm Jenna. I'm Malvina. I'm Ben, and we're hanging in the studio. You're listening to CFRU 93.3 FM. Want to take an active role in keeping the University of Guelph safe? Volunteer with Crime Stoppers.